Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Atlas Dowcast, the number one podcast for news, updates, education, and all things Star Atlas. I'm Dowcaster, your host, and today's topic in Star Atlas 101 is the NFT release schedule and marketplace. Now, if you're new to Star Atlas, I highly recommend you start at the beginning of this series, the Star Atlas 101 series, to get the full picture. But today, let's dive in. Today's topic is the NFT release schedule and marketplace. Before we dive into the NFT or asset release schedule and the mindset of the developers, let's take a look at what has been released so far. It all started with an event called Rebirth, Genesis of a Metaverse. This was the first meta poster release of NFTs in the marketplace. Basically, Star Atlas produces a poster, or in this case, a meta poster because we're in the metaverse. The meta poster gets authenticated by a musical artist. Then unlimited numbers of meta posters become available through Star Atlas and third-party marketplaces. Purchasers of these meta posters mint the NFTs. Portions of the revenue and following sales get split by Star Atlas and the collaborators. And the NFT, or the meta poster owners, are then able to put the collectibles they own up for sale on Star Atlas marketplaces and other marketplaces. Now, collecting these meta posters unlocked more than just an image or a poster. They came with an open-ended treasure chest of exclusive metaverse rewards and perks, and they're grouped into five tiers corresponding to the increasing value of the rewards. So to be eligible for rewards at a given tier, a holder must own all meta posters up to the top of that tier. So first, huge rewards are dropped into wallets of eligible meta poster owners after the final rebirth sale. And owners of these meta poster tier collections remain eligible for future surprise NFT drops and treats. For instance, Tier 0 came with a Pierce X4 bike, a skin for that bike, a claim stake, mining drill, power plant, a space station, and an Atlassian badge, an estimated value of 58 US dollars. Tier 5 came with a Calico Guardian ship, a skin for that ship, and an emote for that ship. It came with a Calico Compact Hero ship, and a skin for that ship. A Tier 5 claim stake, remember the higher tier claim stake you have, it allows you to claim deeper and wider territories. Power plant space station, and an executive badge, an estimated value of $250,000 USD. So basically, they started releasing a ton of posters on April 24th, 2021. And if you collected all NFTs or meta posters for a certain tier, you gained the rewards for that tier. And more were released every Saturday for 14 weeks and stopped being sold on August 24th, 2021. Now in the middle of that, between June 24th and July 15th, they released a Star Atlas Legends NFT the Armstrong Forever poster, which comes with its own awesome in-game rewards. Then on September 7th, they started the GAO, or the Galactic Asset Offering, where they slowly release ships as NFTs to be minted on their website for ownership. These are the ships that are in the marketplace today, and more are still being added. Now there were many changes and more specific release schedules, but it doesn't matter so much anymore. What matters now is what currently is available and at what price. So let's look forward from here. According to the white paper, new NFT assets will be released periodically by Star Atlas with careful consideration surrounding the inflationary impact of release. I'll explain what that means. So anything can affect their judgment on how much and when they should release more, like how much demand there is from new players, how many assets are available on the marketplace, and most notably, how many assets are being destroyed in battle. The developer's goal in this, though, is to make sure that there aren't releasing too much or too little into the game. Release too much and your NFTs become worthless. Release too little and the game is unplayable by newcomers. And due to that, they have said that they'll focus particularly on assets released in earlier versions with power bonuses and otherwise unique benefits bestowed upon them. So what can we do now? Let's see how the prices change with the minigame. How well will Star Atlas be adopted? How much demand will we generate for new ships? I guess we'll find out. Thank you so much for joining me today as we talked about the current NFT release plans and schedule for Star Atlas. If you'd like to support this podcast, you can do so for as little as $1 a month at anchor.fm slash staratlasdowcast slash support, or you can find the link in the description, and it would be really appreciated. This will give you early access and be the first to know when our fundraising NFT release drops and other cool insider perks. And if you'd like to sponsor or be featured on the show, email me at sponsor at staratlasdowcast.com. If you can't support monetarily, then please consider leaving a review on your podcasting app so more people can learn to play this awesome game. Thanks for listening, and never stop exploring.